Hey guys, Mike Royakin here. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to go over the Feel Free Mokin 12.5 version 2, some of the accessories and modifications I've done uh, since this boat recently came out. Got it out about a week ago. It is a great kayak. Same hole and design as a previous Mokin. However, this time Feel Free has done a great job in redesigning the deck, giving you more leg space and the removable sonar pod. Uh, and still has a great wheel on the keel, so no cart needed, easy to move around. So. Today we're going to go over how I installed my anchor trolley, sonar pod, and the uh, supernova lights, all from uh, MariterSales.com. Check them out. Great place to get all your kayak accessories. Uh, let's go over the Yak Attack HD anchor trolley. So what this trolley is, the HD meaning it has some additional uh, parts to it, and that is a backing plate that's about that big behind that pulley system kind of easy to do seems intimidating at first but it's really not that that difficult so first of all you're going to do is you're going to drill your three holes using a template and then you're going to take a wire or string i used wire and run them through this hole and that hole the wire simply pushes through and you can reach your arm in here grab them out of this access panel you put the backing plate on slide it down and when you cinch these wires out pull them out what's going to happen is that backing plate is going to get sucked up on the inside here so no, no need to access it with your hands then there's going to be a locating screw an extra hole here that once you cinch this screw in it's going to basically hold the backing plate in place put your pulley system on pull the string through snip it put your second screw in now that back plate's not going to move Third screw simply goes in there, and now you've got that backing plate behind this pulley, making it a super strong mount. The pulley then runs up, and I did the exact same thing for the locking mechanism. <laughs> I kind of did lose a screw, no clue where it went, always one gets away, so I used a rivet instead. Same basic process, uh, drilled my three holes, ran the wire in, kind of snaked them up to the front hatch area where I could grab them, put the backing plate on the wires, and then again, tie knots at the end of the wire, cinch it out and it sucks up that back plate in this area here put your first set screw and then you can mount your other plate and then again the same thing in the front however because i could access it uh, i just simply drill the holes and reach and let me show you what that backing plate looks like again just a nice little extra uh, to strengthen that piece up right there uh, the way that trolley system works is i am using the anchor wizard i can deploy the string out run it through my d-ring and then with the trolley, I can run this all the way back to the back of the boat and the anchor attaches. And now the anchor's through through the rear. Uh, the next thing I did on this kayak is installed the Supernova lights from Mariner Sails. I uh, got two strips, green, one on each side. And for that install, again, super easy. Seems a little bit intimidating drilling holes in a kayak, especially brand new one. But you just drill a very small hole up front, run your wires through and then you just grab them in and attach them up front. Same thing with the uh, fish finder. Use the Hobie through connect. And again, just ran that wire in here, cinched them up. And then I've got my FPV power, which uh, Mariner Sales is the uh, distributor for uh, the Northern continent here for the 48. So be sure and check them out. Great battery, completely waterproof. Com you can completely submerge this battery and it's not gonna affect it at all. Next, uh, beaver rudder install. The Mokin does not come with a beaver tail rudder, so you do need to order that through, feel free. And then the original uh, foot pegs that come with the Mokin will not work with a beaver rudder kit. However, feel free without raising the price, included the uh, new tow controls that are the standard on the Lure series and the Dorado. Again, super easy install. Remove your uh, stock foot controllers and then install the new ones. Run your wires through. Um, they're already pre-notched pre out with a uh, tube that runs from here all the way back. And then the rudder simply attaches and you've got full rudder control. Again, really simple to do. Just follow the instructions. You won't have any problems at all. Uh, the rails are your standard feel-free rails. So your Yak Attack gear track mounts, adapters to put any adapters that you need to put on there to use the mounts will work just fine. And then for the fish finder, I did have to use, I do have side scan. So I use the uh, mighty mount on the bottom of the sonar pod to get the transducer just slightly below the hull line. So the side scan would not get a shadow. 
while it was working. So when it's cinched down, you can see that transducer does sit just below the hole line there, uh, giving absolutely no shadow with the side scan image on the fish finder. I am running the Helix 5 SI, DI, and GPS. A few simple mods to make your fishing experience a great one and help find the fish. Using the rudder to stay within the currents and not be drifting off. The wind to your back so you're casting down wind. Makes it really easy to do. Well guys, thanks a lot. That's all I got for today. Uh, be sure and subscribe and like this video and I'll be posting more videos really soon. I know I've been bad about it. I do apologize. Uh, but stay tuned. I'll be uh, getting more videos up soon. Thanks.